Hello everybody and welcome to 2GW. We are here live in Fresno, California to kick things off. The premier brand of dumb wrestling. And mm -hmm. crowd is on their feet. Maybe. I mean... Yo! Look who it is! It's my boy! Now on the... Yo! Yo, got moving up. It's like the Jefferson. I mean, look look at what he's carrying, though. The two, the coveted, the pristine 2GW Intercontinental Championship. It's like he got drafted over here, and then he took a championship immediately. I'm, yo, might as well rename this man Viper Jefferson, because he's just moving on up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, I, he's done a lot on the Crimson Dojo. So I suppose it's time to move him over to another brand so we can dominate over there too. I mean, to be fair, along with, with Ace and Nate, I'd say like, I I'll say it. The drafting of Viper to 2GW, that basically rocked dumb wrestling to its core. Mm. It's like one of the most unexpected things to happen. And speak that and um, Oh I was about to hype up the welcoming committee, but You're still here? I forgot about it. Ugh. Why is he still here? I, why could yo? How come? How come? Fucking Wesker couldn't draft him. He's wearing red. I mean, nobody likes Juan Carlos. I don't even know if his sisters like Juan Carlos. At least one of them does. Cause one I mean, of them, yeah. yeah. One of them's here at ringside for him. Yeah. But this man, look, he's wearing red and black. He's wearing red. He should have been drafted. He's wearing the Crimson Dojo colors. I mean, he's also wearing blue. So should he be, he'd be, he'd be on Vendetta? He's wearing red, blue, and black, so he should be, I don't know, in the trash. <laughs> but this man has to go up against one Viper not I was going to hype up on like, yo, who's going to be the welcoming committee for, for Viper? And then fucking Carl Winslow sends out this guy? It's fucking... It's he needs to groom his chest hair. And oh, Viper with a Viper's lighting him up with a vicious. Oh my, oh my goodness! I think he feels offended that they would throw Juan Carlos at him over anything. Spy Buster! Spy Buster! And oh my cover. cover! One, two! Oh my <laughs> God! If that ended that quickly... That Spinebuster was with authority! Oh! oh he's oh, not happy! No. Oh, God! The, look at that guy! was like, don't get a word! The cover! Oh! Uh, and the sister's getting in the way. How dare you! How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Bighead. Viper just pushed him away! Oh, he's not happy with any of this. Juan Carlos showing signs of life. It's like he's gonna have to be more. And we got alive. a chair in the ring! One! Oh. Have a one. A chair? There is a chair in the ring! A chair has magically appeared at ringside. And George is motioning. Did, did is the, the is sister get thrown out? I think the sister's out? getting thrown out! <laughs> Well, I mean, it's well deserved. Oh, I just got him up on the top. The, the onslaught continues. Top rope! With the enforced superplex! Into the cover. One! Two! Th no. It's not enough. I mean, George, you gonna do something about that chair? I mean... Oh, Spine Buster! No! no. We'll cover. Okay. It's not a one. I don't know what you expected from that, Mr. Carlos. It's him with a forearm. To the ropes. Yep. The old dumb classic. Uh, I, I guess you gotta have something in there. Belly to yes. belly! Flaps the ears. A little hip toss. It seems like the sister has been thrown out. I don't see her anymore at ringside. Oh, he's getting hoisted up again. Oh, there's oh. A, that uppercut. Oh, oh. oh boy. He's, he's turning around. He's turning around. The setup. Get your yeah. cameras out. The top rope. Final word. Oh, fucking. Sorry. Do we have a 
run it? <laughs> no. There's, a, There's cover. a cover. One, two, three, <laughs> and there you have it. Your winner is Viper Nakajima. Oh, that was fun. That, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was that was a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster. Then that I guarantee you folks, I'm pretty sure this match would have been over a lot sooner had his sister not been at ringside. Hmm. Well, well, what a start to 2GW. Yeah, and apparently, was the soundtrack playing a, a, a prank on us? Yo, somebody's <laughs> entrance music hit. I mean, it was... So, one of our commentators' phones was on the desk, and it, uh, Yo, even don't... though he said it's a two dot, do not disturb, one of the alarms still went off, so... Anyway. <clears throat> that an impressive start to Viper's 2GW stint here. And like you said, what a way to kick off this week's episode. But we're, we're not done here. We got a few matches left. Yeah, that was only the first match. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 2GW. We are here in San Francisco, California for uh, the next contest. And and it's Ragnarok. It's Ragnarok. The old red dude. The large red organism. Not the big, not the big red machine. <laughs> and... And he's got a poncho. And yeah, he's had a little bit of a wardrobe change ever since uh, him and his old big orange buddy broke up. Mm -hmm. That's not Tunnel Dump. Yeah. <laughs> big orange buddy. I mean, Tunnel Dump was big and very orange. Mm. Man, I'll say it again. Power 80s ruins lives. I mean, the Hellfire Empire were a duo amongst duos. They're they were incarcerated. They're they're insane. It's like they're unpredictable. I mean, we all know this about Power Eighties, but still, <laughs> no. If anything, Power Eighties put some. They they knock some sense into them, maybe. <laughs> That's. It's a pretty big maybe. <laughs> it's a pretty big maybe. And Sid? <laughs> Who's Sid? Who's Sid? From Final Fantasy? Sure. I mean, he's cool. I guess. I forgot that was part of his entrance. <laughs> Who's Sid? <laughs> oh no. Yeah! Look who it is! Is that Sid? It's the hat popping, panty dropping. Uh, God, I had something for this. I just thought of it too. Damn it! Fucking the hat popping, panty dropping. Uh, shit! Damn it. He is shit. No. Yo, it's the spirit of Freddie Mercury. It's boat cop. Is it Maybe he's Sid. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's Sid. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that thing hanging above the ring is Sid. Have them fucking team up and they can be boat fire. <laughs> fire cop. He's not that cool. <laughs> Fire cop. <laughs> and here we go. We go from the debut, the 2GW debut of Viper Nakajima to Ragnarok versus Boat Cop. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to see Boat Cop in action? Nobody, that's let's right. Get, let's get the scroll out. <laughs> I mean... Boat Cop, to his credit, he is a ferocious competitor. However, his win-loss record speaks otherwise because he hasn't won yet. I mean... When you... Wish upon a star. <laughs> you remember who you are. And you remember that you're Boat Cop. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> like, today is a new day for Boat Cop. 
He's surely probably gonna win this one, maybe. <laughs> He's surely probably gonna win this one, maybe. <laughs> I mean, nothing is certain in dumb wrestling. And Ragnarok just shoves him away. Climbs back over. Catches him before the leg. And walk the rope. Oh, and there's a boot. The boot to the boat. Cop. Boot cop. Boot cop. I haven't teamed up with Aaron. They give me boat camp. <laughs> Man, are you sure that's what you want? I just want How come Boat Cop couldn't be drafted by Crimson Dojo? Because he has unfinished work here on 2GW. He has no work ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the power behind the cop. Yo, the freaking... The, yo, nothing speaks words like two horsepower. The Marine officer doing work. Getting punched in the neck. <laughs> the ropes. Oh, clothesline over the edge. Over the top rope, to the floor, to the concrete floor. That's how tough we are on here on 2GW. We don't need no mats. We got concrete. I mean, that's it's a health hazard. Also because like, we, we use most of our money to buy several new rings. Oh, he's just getting just thrown everywhere. On the barricade, to the post, and off the post again. How is it? Four or five. Sneaker to the face. Gets scooped. And oh. Oh, oh no! That's it six. Not getting up there. It's seven. You're on the corner there. It's gonna be hard getting him back in. I don't think I don't think Ragnarok cares. Whoa. Counts it eight. Counts it eight. Whoa. Oh, there's, oh. A, there's a counter. Count is at nine! You're are we gonna get a double DC? And Ten! A ten! <laughs> and just barely, your winner is Ragnarok. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure if he lost to Boat Cop, he would never let himself feel that or let, forget it. You mean yeah. Boat Cop by a countout? That is not the 2GW way, sir. <laughs> But a win's a win. A win is a win. I mean, except when the championship's on the line. Yeah. In that case, in Whoopi Goldberg's case, a win is a loss. <laughs> you didn't win. <laughs> anyway, like anyway. you said, a win's a win. Although I'm pretty sure it's we got might be a little bit of unfinished business between these two. Mm. So oh joy, we might see more Bo Cop in the coming weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to 2GW. We are here in Richmond, Virginia. And, well, people got their DS's on. Yeah. Because it is main event time and we got ourselves a number one contenders match on our hands, Joe. And everybody's on their DS's, <coughs> which means nobody cares. I mean, <laughs> DS is a good console. It and, is. And I don't really care about these people anymore. I mean, they're it's... good. They're good talent. They're a little bit strange. The sobriety. Yeah, they look they look straight edge. <laughs> Nothing. No, no offense to straight edge people. It's a good. It's a pretty decent lifestyle to live, I guess. Mm. I mean, I don't. I don't smoke. I don't either. And I rarely drink. Mm. I drink once a year on New Year's. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure by a lot of people saying we, we drink pretty weak drinks. Yeah. So you're not having like 40 shots of 151 or 99 bananas or turpentine? I mean, the most alcoholic thing I've had is probably that fucking Estes flask we made that year. Probably. And that was ginger beer. Yep, it was ginger beer, it was orange juice, and I think it was cinnamon whiskey? Yep. Welcome to Dumb Wrestling Alcohol Talk. It was really good, though. It was pretty good. And this man, Mr. Lazarus Mitchell, and his two cohorts... Pretty sure it's just going to be Lazarus competing for that uh, number one contender spot because the winner of this match will become the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship mm. and will face the incumbent champion Viper Nakajima at a future date. Mm -hmm. now, the question is, who is that man going to be facing off with? I mean, I'm pretty excited to find out. Actually. It's not going to be Boat Cop. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, see, see, even the, like, even even the freaking society guys like are pre seem pretty happy about that. No, like, I mean, who doesn't want to see boat cop? Vote, vote no on boat cop. <laughs> the marine <clears throat> officer. Just, anyway, well, T posing for victory. Oh, uh oh, it's Aaron. It, it's Aaron. Who has recently triumphed over himself. <laughs> that he did! <laughs> yeah, I tried I, I tried to get word I tried to get word on uh, what happened to that uh, the Aaron clone after the match. And it probably just disappeared it probably into the just, ether. Yep. But congratulations, Aaron! You just played yourself. <laughs> And this is gonna be. This is. Go I feel like this is gonna be Lazarus' first like real test. Mm. I mean, he's been in the ring with you know like some some decent competitors like Blitzkrieg and I think Lunell. But, like Aaron. Decent competitors like Lunell. <laughs> I mean, he's. I mean, he's a former intercontinental champion. That he is the first ever. Can't take that away from him. Yep. He beat Billy. Yeah. He had a pretty good match against Billy. Yeah. Anyway, but this man right here, former world champion, former RNG champion, whether we like to admit it or not, Aaron, yep. Aaron knows how to win. He got most of those wins via a choke that he doesn't employ too much anymore. And he doesn't. I, I wonder I wonder if could the commissioner had some had talked to him hmm. about that. Maybe he just doesn't want to win that way. <laughs> There's the bell. Here we go. There's the bell. Here we go. Now they're just lighting him up. And they're folding the arm back. Oh. An old nipple punch. Scoops. Scoops. Nope. nope. To the back of the leg. Straight right. They're rolling to the apron already. Now he's going to the top rope. I don't know what he's gonna do from there. Is he? He's already standing. Oh, oh no! Uh oh. And, uh, and I think that's I think. Elizabeth? Yeah. And she was takes his legs out from under him. And was. And what? What? <laughs> that's a disqualification. <laughs> DQ that quick before. Nobody's interfered like that before. And yeah, he got like one two punched. He got swept by Elizabeth and then like And I think that's like because I saw George motioning. I think that sweep was what caused the DQ and then Le I think because all Leviathan did was throw Aaron back in the ring. Yeah, that well Dorks! Uh <laughs> I, I guess that'll do it for this week's episode of 2GW. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a double DQ. It yeah. wasn't a double countout. Yeah, a I, win's a win. Aaron <clears throat> gets off a little easy this time. Okay. I didn't want to win like that. Too bad, dumbass. <laughs> you did. <laughs> rules is rules. Well, uh, uh, tune in in just a few days when Ladies' Night starts to get underway. Yeah. Everybody well, likes ladies. Everybody loves ladies. Uh, bye. bye. <laughs>